Hey y'all, so we're here at Atwood, Tennessee for the Clay Hill Motorsports. I think this is their second night, but it's our first night running the factory stock Leaf Spring with Rachel driving. This is your first race of the season. Thousand to win tonight. Gonna win it, right? We're gonna win it. Y'all stick around, we'll find out. All right, so one of the things that we've been talking about is lifting and rolling into the corner. <laughs> Definitely on the car, we have got to be picking up the throttle to turn it, right? So, in like when you go out there and hot lap, just don't even use the brake. Don't touch the brake. Just lift and let the car coast in and pick the throttle up and just feel the car set over. And you feed the throttle. You'll see it won't like, turn if you feed the throttle in. So just feed the throttle in, turn the car. And, uh, and you should be fine. Because the car turns on throttle. Because I got all that fixed at, at the ice bowl. So we're good. So but you just got to remember, you get in there racing with the rest of them. You can't chase them into the corner. You got to lift and roll in, right? You got to have your to get your back to lap time. All right, let's go hot lap. Well, the good news is I've got all the footage from the car. The bad news is we lost all the audio on everything else for the rest of the night. So totally messed us up. But we're gonna go through the footage together. Hopefully we're gonna learn something that's gonna help Rachel improve for the next race we got coming up. So we're gonna start out with the hot laps. We got the hot laps, then the heat, and then the feature. So let's get going. So track was had a lot of loose material in the hot laps. Mm -hmm. Rachel said that we saw that. She I just, wasn't giving it my yeah, all. She in was hot just, laps. Yeah, she was just basically going around the track and keeping. So then we're gonna turn around and roll right into the B main. You started last in your B main, or two of them, and then right here, so we'll come out. I think this is like eight laps. Is all this is? So I've already edited this down, cut the cautions out, and all of that. Better on your start. So they went, you went, you're paying a little bit better attention. So appreciate that. Restarts were really hard for you last year. They were. You know. Um, I'll let it go a couple laps and I'm gonna say something about adding throttle. But uh, so I watched this footage. Um, there is definitely something going on here that is a rookie thing that we gotta work on. And Rachel's already picking up on it and done said something. She's been looking at the footage. Y'all watch and see if y'all see it. We'll all see if we all agree. We gotta work on this. Cause it bit you right there for sure. All right. So a couple things that, that I'm noticing, um, the track right now would hold all the throttle Rachel would put to it. Like when she comes off the corner, she could have matted it. Some of these other guys are matting it. Mm -hmm. And so you're rolling into the throttle because you're you've been so far it's like always been slick 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 slick. Yep. And, but like this track will take it, and like you got to learn how to like okay the track will take it. I need to give it. Um, and then the other thing is, is that the steering like you're running up to the corner and then steering into the corner, and that's hurting us. That no, that was him. that was just a save. I yeah, saved myself that was that him there. That was him. But. Uh, but you're running down into the corner, you're running way too deep down into the corner and then you're braking and turning and the car, the setup on the car, it needs throttle to turn. And this is something we talked about and you were trying to do it, but you didn't realize like on the track, you still weren't actually doing it. Like watch this. So there, she snaps that steering wheel all of a sudden. We gotta stop that. Instead, we need to be lifting earlier and then doing a gentle turn in and picking the throttle up as we turn in. See, I should already been throttling up. By yeah, now. right. And we need to sweep out and then just a, a gentle sweep in. Now, you're not sawing on the steering wheel like you were. We've gotten a lot of that saw. Mm -hmm. Part of that was a change we made on the car is helping with that. The car's a lot more neutral now. Yeah. So, you're not fighting it like you were. But you're definitely running the car, you're coming off the corner slower and you're slower accelerating, but then like you're running a lot deeper down into the into the turn trying to like make up ground. And that's a 
that's something that's just an easy trap to fall into. You start chasing the guy in front of I you am. instead of trying to run the fastest lap time. I see them getting ahead of me and I'm like, yeah, I got to start catch panicking. Them. Yeah, right, you start panicking and start trying to catch them. And it just gets worse and worse and worse. Yeah. And so that was the heat race, which is fine, you know. Um, and then I'm kind of glad I lost the footage because I was up in the I was up in the stands filming the feature and I was watching some of it and I was like, girl, if you don't quit, I'm, oh, so I was, mm, I was animated. Kim said everybody was looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, this whole deal where you got somebody else racing on the track, you know, when your kids racing on the track, I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. <laughs> That would have probably been a good blooper All for right, him. So here we go. Pretty good, but you're rolling slow into the throttle, and this track is still a good track that we mm -hmm. take all the throttle. So that's hurting us some. So your reaction's better, but they're just pulling away from you. Of course, you've got it's some loose fluff that you got into. Now this this feature is 25 laps. Mm -hmm which we've cut out all of the cautions and stuff. But look at that hard snap to the right. I see it. Got to break that. I see it. And you're doing that and you're on the brake and we've got to be like, if the track, like this track tonight probably needed no brake at all. But you needed to like halfway down that straightaway, like after you went past that flag stand, like lift and then like where you're actually letting off, you should have been rolling back into the throttle and just having a gentle turn to the left and the car would have like sat down and turned to the left and then you could have just fed the throttle in that order to- That one right there was a gentle turn. Yeah. I just did, yeah. I felt, I mean, yeah. I knew when I was doing well because I felt it, it would just scoot across right, the ground. Right, right, right. The, 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 the times that you got the car to turn in on a sweep and not break loose, mm -hmm. We could see when the car would sit down and hold weight on the right side, the car would turn. Right. You know, and you could see the car dig. Good reaction on this one. You're not rolling in quite as hard as they are, but your reaction, you're much better on the restarts. All the fit I threw last year on that, I think has helped. Definitely threw some fits. Yeah. So, and you can see like, for example, look at, look at little Nick up there in the blue car. And you can see he's, his car, he's got it set up fairly loose. You can see him kind of tail out, but he's digging the whole time. He's right. digging. And we've got our car set up like that, where that like if you'll throw up going in, it's, a, it's gonna feel a little bit loose, but it's gonna dig, 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 dig. I've gotta get more comfortable with that loose feeling yeah. and not react to it. Right. Let the car do what it's supposed to. See, like you, sh yeah. you should have already lifted. And right here, you should be on the throttle. I should hear the motor like as you roll into that corner, yeah. you've got the fluff right there. I was all over the place. Now you get frustrated because you lost ground and then you start really overdriving the car. I do. I think that 17 is who ended up winning, but and there's Tommy right there. Yeah. And uh, and Tommy, that was uh, that 91 red car is gonna be in front of us late in the feature. That's Tommy Molnix. That's his first time. That's a new car for him. I think that's a first metric for him. He's been in Camaros up to this point. Real good in Camaros. But you're making a hard crack to the left because you're late and you're really on the brake and then that's forcing this push into the car. And you can't like, in other words, if you still brake late, a gentle turn's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. It's like they, you, you've, got to, you've got to coast and pick up the throttle and then the gentle turn is going to be naturally what the car it's going to make sense right the, that all goes together so i think that the i think chasing the cars down into the corner is leading to the late braking and then that's forcing you to feel like you've got to just whip the car it's all working against you together this right here definitely is yeah i remember thinking please i need a caution give me a caution yeah yeah, and you're really, so you, I am. I'm you can tell, it. say, now this is, so like you see this big gap and you're wanting to close it. Nope. And see, you ran way down in there and the car is just, you're, oh, you're yeah. cranked all the way over on the wheel, snapped the car loose, even slower. So now you're even worse. I'm panicking Snap, at this right, point. Snapping, <laughs> see that? Blew all the way up into the fluff, oh, yeah. snapped the car loose. And so it's a, it's a vicious cycle. 
you know, once you get in trouble and then you get frustrated and then the overdriving just leads to more overdriving. Oh yeah, it was complete overdriving. And that's where, and, and that's me up in the stand saying, God, we need a caution, girl. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Um, yeah, so. So you just come out on your own. And I, I can see you start to calm down. You know, you, you definitely drive it too deep in with too much brake the whole time. Like that's a habit that we've got. But watching this video, like, because we, mm -hmm. we didn't have a chance to do this last year. No, we didn't. We didn't. And so I think just doing this, and I'm going to say, like, watch it again right before we go to our next race. Like that Saturday, maybe sit down by yourself and watch right. this video again. Again, this is just not rolling on the throttle hard enough. And so, yeah. You did a good job. You kept the car under you. you first thing, you got to keep control of the car. And you're doing a good job of that. But then the next thing after keeping the car under you is you've got to race the track, not the cars around you. You see Tommy there struggling with it a little bit. And now right here, you you hesitate on that far and you could have shot right by Tommy. I hesitated because yeah. I didn't want to slam into him well, and I didn't know yeah, what I know, you, I understand. But uh, our goal is to never tear up somebody else's car, obviously. Well, I mean, it's okay. Every once in a while, you know, every, every once in a while, you're going to do some door kissing. <laughs> but uh, you don't want to be running dead last and kiss the door, that's for sure. But yeah, part of this race was just the, like, uh, what I call the attrition. So, like, you know, you ended up finishing really well. Uh, but we survived. It was 11 cars that night for a thousand win. I wish they'd have had more, but they did, they did it to themselves somewhat because they split the leaf spring cars. If you wanted to, you could run a new class of just leaf, which we're not going to do that. But they did take some cars out of the class by doing that, which that's okay. That's their choice. But we would have had 15 cars in this race instead of 11 if they hadn't done that. But, I think I brake too hard there because I thought he was going to come over on Yeah, me. and this is something else we talked about right here, which is you can't pass somebody if you're in their lane. Right. If you're just following them, and you're faster and you're overtaking them, if you're in their lane, you got nowhere to go. Right. So you've got to anticipate that car you're coming up on and make sure that you end up in a different lane from them at the time you will be passing them. And that's an experience thing. That's just, you just got to get races under your belt to learn that. I was too much on him you, to, to I, figure out like, where he was going to be. I'm seeing you do better at times. You yeah. calm back down and see, look. Did I go know, all the way over? Yeah. Of course, of course, see, snap loose. Yep. But that's super slick right there. But see, you were pushing the whole time, mm -hmm. okay? And so what happened is, is your front tires were turned way over. You went through that slick. When they got through that slick, and when them front tires hit the brown past that black spot, they grabbed and spun you. Yeah. Hard snap over the left. We've got to, we got to do something about that. We've definitely got to do something about it. That's the main thing that we have got to fix is this late aggressive entry that's on the brake. We've, that's, we've, just, we've got to kill that. It starts getting real dusty. Yep. And see, the thing about it is, look, you look at all the errors you're making and look at how that you're pulling right up on those cars. Do you realize how fast this car is? It's like, if we could just fix you, we would be gone, girl. This we is only my gone. sixth well, race, I know, though. I, I mean, know, I know, but I'm expecting you to win the very first one. You know, <laughs> have high expectations. But yeah, so there's Tommy. He's struggling with that new cool car. I guarantee you, Tommy's watching this right now. He's ignoring everything we're saying. He's just watching his car to see what he can learn from this. See, yeah. Yep. That's where you tore up the corner of that brand new nose. It's a dominator nose, but you can't just take anything. They're tough, but I accelerated okay. up a little too fast. Yeah, so it's fine. It's fine. 
Yeah, yeah, back there giving it away. Dirt's just about covered us up at this point. I think the race is about over. Yeah. So, yeah, and... Back through the middle again. Well, you saved it. So, the checkered flag, we're going under the checkered flag right here. Yeah. So, you ended up... So, right here, the race is over. So, you ended up fourth place. Now, technically, you know, you were in the back, but... One of the things that I noticed I'm really happy with is, is like plenty of speed, plenty of car. Mm -hmm. It's just watching the video. Now that you see this, I think that's going to make a dramatic impact on your next time out for sure. You know, going through it and everything. And I think we're going right back to Clay Hill in two weeks, right? Yeah, not this weekend but, coming up. Well, but yeah, I remember following. this video, who knows when. Well, I'm saying not this back. weekend coming up. But, but we're not letting a big gap go. Yeah. It's going to be two weeks. We're going to put it right back in the car. But hey, me and you, I'm going to keep this video separate and then we'll also have this uploaded differently. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're going to go back and you just watch this and then we'll go back and... It's a lot different when you're in the car. Um, yeah. I thought to myself, you know, I need a break sooner yeah. or let off the throttle sooner. And you think you're doing that. And then obviously I'm right. not. So. so like watching this, did you think you were driving the car like that? Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. Right? Not at all. And that I busted myself in that crush the same way. And, and what was really bad is, is I would be doing commentary and I would be after the race and I would be like, you know, it was this, it was that. And then I would watch the film and I'd be like, oh, I was totally wrong. <laughs> yeah. It was not at all what I thought. So anyway, little different format. Let us know, leave us a comment. Like, how do you like this compared to what we normally do when we go to the track? Cause I mean, we could do this if y'all like that better, where we go through it, just whatever right. works. Main thing is, is we're trying to learn, but mm -hmm. we want y'all to get something out of it as well. See you next time. See ya.